Hi, welcome back to Step by Step .com. This is the seventh lesson in the Step 4 module, and in this lesson, we're going to expand on the finger style patterns that we learned in the previous modules by introducing dominant seventh chords. If you haven't yet mastered those patterns, then I'd recommend going back over them again until you feel comfortable with them before you continue with this lesson. So let me begin by reminding you of the first fingerstyle pattern that you learned in step one, lesson seven, and it goes like this. Now for this exercise, we're going to use that same pattern, but with different chords, and we're going to include a dominant seventh chord. Let me demonstrate. So the chords I'm using this time are E, A and B7. For the E chord, start by plucking the 6th string with your thumb and then the top three strings with your first, second and third fingers. And then pluck the fifth string with your thumb and again the top three strings. Sixth that. string, top three, fifth string, top three. Now try the same pattern on the A chord, but this time start by plucking the fifth string with your thumb, followed by the top three strings, and then the sixth string with your thumb, and again the top three. Fifth so. string, top three, sixth string, top three. Now with the B7 chord, start by plucking the fifth string with your thumb, and then the top three strings, and then this time move the second finger of your fretting hand onto the bottom string, second fret, and pluck with your thumb, and then the top three strings again. Then move that finger back to the uh, second fret, fifth string, pluck with your thumb, top three strings, and then move it down. And fifth repeat. string, top three, sixth string, top three. And repeat like this. So that second finger's moving from the fifth to the sixth string. Now let's try putting all that together in this sequence. Two bars of E, two bars of A, two bars of B7, and then two bars of E. And repeat it. I'm going to play along with a metronome that I've set to 100 beats per minute. Here we go. Starting on E. One, two, three, four. And then A. B7, the second finger moves down, and back to E, and then start again, E, to E, and then change to B7, and that second finger drops on the bottom string, back to E, one more time round, Change to A and B7, second finger moves on the bottom string, back to E and finish. For this next exercise we'll use the same pattern using the chords D, G and A7. And let me show you how that one goes. Okay, for the D chord start by plucking the 4th string with your thumb and the top 3 strings with your fingers. Then the fifth string with your thumb, and again the top three strings with your fingers. So fourth string, top three, 
fifth string, top three. And for the G chord, start with the sixth string with your thumb, top three strings with your fingers, followed by the fourth string with your thumb, and again the top three strings. So sixth string with your thumb, top three, fourth string, top three. And for the A7 chord, start with your thumb on the fifth string, top three strings, and then thumb on the sixth string, and the top three. Fifth string with your thumb, top three, sixth string, top three. Fifth string, sixth string. And we're going to play them in the following sequence. Two bars of D, two bars of G, two bars of A7, followed by two bars of G. So let's try that with the metronome. Here we go. One, two, three, four, D. G. A7. Back to G. And then start again on D. Seven and then G again. One more time around D G A seven back to G. For the third exercise, we're going to use the chords E minor, A minor, B7, and C7. I'll play them in this order. So for the E minor chord, start with your thumb on the sixth string, and then the top three strings followed by the fifth string and again the top three strings Six sixth string and the top three and then the fifth string and the top three and for the A minor start with your thumb on the fifth string top three strings then the sixth string fifth string with your thumb top three sixth string with your thumb top three fifth string sixth string and for the B7 chord, uh, start with your thumb on the 5th, and then the top 3 strings, and then the 4th string, 5th string, 4th string, and do the same thing with the C7, 5th string, 4th string, 5th, 4th, 5th string with your thumb, top 3 strings, 4th string, top 3. Okay, now we're going to put all of that together in this order. I'm going to play two bars of E minor, two bars of A minor, two bars of C7, and two bars of B7 with the metronome. So after four, one, two, three, four, E minor, A minor, fifth string, sixth, fifth, sixth, C7, and then the fourth string. Fifth string, fourth, B7. And then start again, E minor. And A minor. And C7. And B7. One more time around, E minor. A minor, C7, B7, and end. Okay. 
For the final exercise, we'll try the same fingerstyle pattern using the chords G, G7, C, and D7. And it sounds like this. So you start with the G chord, thumb on the 6th string, and then the top 3 strings, and then thumb on the 4th string, and top 3 strings, and repeat, 6th string, 4th string. Same thing for the G7, 6th string, 4th string, and then change to the C chord, and for the C chord start with your thumb on the 5th, and then the top 3 strings, and then the 4th string, and the 5th string, and the 4th. And lastly the D7 chord, start with your thumb on the 4th uh, string, and the then play the top 3 strings, and then the 5th string, and the top 3, 4th string, 5th string. So we're going to try that in this order, 2 bars of G, 2 bars of G7, 2 of C, and 2 of D7, along with the metronome. After 4, one, two, three, four, G. G7. And then the C chord. And then the D7. Back to the G. And then the G7. C and the D7 Okay, so there you have some fingerstyle exercises using the dominant 7th chords. Practice them slowly and accurately and try not to be too concerned with speed at this point as this will come in time. Your aim should be to repeat the patterns consistently without making mistakes. And don't forget to play along with a metronome to develop your timing. You can find the patterns that we looked at today in the notes that accompany this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson 8 where we look at the note names of the first 5 frets of the 4th string. I'll see you then.